Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Beanie and I'm Trans. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing another Legend Deep Dive and we're going to be talking about one of the most anticipated legends in MLB The Show history. Everybody talks about this guy. Everybody has wanted to see him and he is finally going to be in MLB The Show 18. Of course, we are talking about Vlad Guerrero and um, he has a son in the minor leagues who is absolutely destroying baseball baseball right now one of the top prospects in baseball and his dad did it just as big um and uh he was just recently elected to the hall of fame and he has now got a card in mlb the show so really really cool and uh we're gonna be just talking about what uh, a vladimir guerrero card might look like in mlb the show and uh spoiler alert it's pretty freaking good Okay, so for this card, I decided to try out his 2000 season, his age 25 season. And uh, the reason I did that is because I think for practical purposes, um, either this season or his 2002 season um, is going to end up being his best card. But uh, this one was just a little bit better offensively, so I decided to make this one. The other one has like maybe a little bit better uh, speed and stealing and stuff, but um, I think the two 2000 version is going to be his best offensive card so uh so yeah he th this was his age 25 season he was number 27 played right field from the dr um just a, and, and just look at that monster look at that body um i don't know if this is like super accurate to vlad but he's listed at uh six foot three 235 so that's what i made him that's what he's listed on baseball reference he was always kind of a buff guy so uh so i gave him that body type uh he always seemed kind of long to me too so i gave him kind of a longer spine um you know kind of broad shoulders all that his face is not very accurate at all in fact i think that's one of the white god templates but it, i don't know it was really hard to find a face that was even close to vlad he had uh for a lot of his career he had that fro shag kind of going on so I decided to give him that. Um, he does have his batting stance in MLB The Show. It is legend stance number 14. And uh, you can tell that looks a whole lot like Vlad. And if this holds for next year, he will have a two-handed long swing. So no problems there. That should look really good in the game. And it should play really well. So uh, it's pretty exciting to see that he's not going to have any swing problems or anything like that. So, uh, so yeah, so far so good on the Vlad card. Now let's take a deep dive into his ratings and guys I just got to tell you this was an absolute monster year for Vlad. He hit 345, 410, 664. That was his slash line with 44 home runs, 123 RBIs, and nine stolen bases. So uh, that turns into some pretty darn good attributes. Okay, starting out with contact versus righties. I gave him a 91. He hit 336 versus righties um, in 2000. Very, very good. Not, in my opinion, not quite 99 worthy given like where the rest of the league was at that time. But still a really, really excellent year versus righties. Versus lefties, he was an absolute 99, absolute monster. He hit 376, which is just absurd definitely deserves 99 contact versus lefties so that's what i gave him um versus righties his iso was a 303 that is extremely good and i think that that's almost worthy of 99 but i decided to give him a 95 because his power versus lefties was just out of this world in this season he hit 368 versus lefties uh his iso and th that's just a monster season so uh so yeah he definitely deserves 99 versus lefties bunning ability and all that you know just like with the benito santiago i don't really have a whole lot of info to go on with that anytime that happens i just give them a 50 so that's that's what we gave him. He's going to have really good vision too. I almost feel like I lowballed him on this vision because he did not strike out a lot at all. He had an 11% K percentage in uh, in the year 2000 against a league average of 16.5. His was actually 11.5. So that is excellent. That is really, really good. Way above league average. I don't know exactly where that ranks, uh, ranks him like among players for the 2000 season, but it's very, very 
very, very good. Um, and uh, yeah, so I figured an 86 uh, was about right, but I could see that going all the way up to maybe even like a 95 or something. He was not a big strikeout guy. Now, when it came to walks, he was a little bit below league average. Uh, he had a 9.1 walk rate, and the league average was 9.6 in the year 2000. So he, he was okay. He was right around league average, but he wasn't great, uh, you know, getting on base with like walks and stuff. He, he was just, uh, he was average at it. He wasn't good. He wasn't bad. He was just okay. And batting clutch was kind of hard for me because he hit 322 with runners on scoring position, which is really good, but that's below his, uh, the, the rest of his stats. So, you know, like he hit 345 overall, but with runners in scoring position, he only hit 322. So even though it's good, he didn't perform quite as well with runners in scoring position. So to kind of balance that out, I decided to give him a good but not great uh, clutch rating. But as you know, clutch doesn't matter a whole lot in this game. I know a lot. Uh, some people will be in the comments being like, yes, it does. Yes, it does. It really doesn't. It's not that big of a deal. So, uh, so yeah, 72 really isn't going to affect this card much one way or the other. Durability, um, I don't really feel like d digging into the data for that, so I just gave him a 50 on that. Not that big of a deal. Speed. Okay, now this one is kind of interesting because on the year, Vlad had a negative uh, 2.7 um, base run. Ba God, what it base runs above average is that it uh bsr basically it's a fan grass rating he had a negative 2.7 that's not very good and he was never really all that great of a base runner or or not all that great of an efficient base runner i should say that but he was pretty fast he was pretty quick he had some wheels on him so uh so you know he he had some speed but we're gonna have to address that poor uh you know, uh, steal ratio whenever we get to stealing attribute, and he is going to get punished pretty hard there. The reason that I ended up giving him such good speed, though, is in the next two years, he ended up having 77 steals in the next two seasons. So I couldn't really justify giving him low speed um, just because he didn't steal a whole lot of bases this year, because to steal 77 bases in two years, you have to have some wheels, and it's not like he got faster as he got older the speed was always there it was just he wasn't all that great this year so uh so that's my justification for giving him an 81 in that department um, arm strength and arm accuracy, obviously the guy always had a cannon of an arm that was never an issue with him, but he was never really all that great of a, a, a defender. He had a, uh, a negative 3.7 defensive rating according to Fangraphs in 2000. Um, he was always kind of a below average defender. This wasn't one of his worst years, but it, it still, it wasn't a very good one. Um, it was really hard for me to justify giving him much more than 7165. But with that arm, you can hide him in a corner and he will be very effective for you. Stick him in left, stick him in right, and that arm is going to play up and he's going to be just fine for you defensively. And now to the stealing and the base running aggressiveness. Uh, the, I don't really know how to, to judge base running aggressiveness. So I just set it on par with the stealing. And that, that kind of makes sense to me to do it that way. And uh, and yeah, his stealing is, is not going to be very good for this season. Because, you know, he got caught stealing more than he stole. So... You, you, typically you want to be over 70% well he was below 50 and that's just not a very efficient base dealer um, at least in this season there was one year where I think he was 40 out of 60 and that's that's okay that's not terrible um, but uh, but yeah not only nine stolen bases he just wasn't very good running the bases this year I don't know what happened the next year and the year after that uh, I guess he just kind of figured something out something clicked when it come to base running and he was a lot more efficient but this season wasn't very good so he's only gonna have 47 stealing to go along with that 81 speed he's a threat on the base pass but he's not gonna be a tremendous threat with that 47 stealing he's not gonna be getting very good jumps for you or uh, or anything like that so with all of these attributes what does that make Vlad come out to let's see I think I know but yeah okay he is a 99 overall, obviously. With those hitting stats and that cannon of an arm to go along with some speed, he had 
he had to be a 99 overall. There was just no way around it. And uh, I think, especially the hitting side of it, I think that this is going to be pretty accurate to what you see in MLB The Show 18. So, going to be a very valuable card. Um, he played with the Expo, so he's going to be part of that Nationals uh, team this season. Um, he'll also have a card for the Angels that'll be really good. And you know, so, uh, but this is going to be the card that I think is going to be really worth picking up. I think it'll probably be an all star version of Vlad. And um, it's going to be interesting how you unlock this card. Are they going to make it a, a Battle Royale card? Are you going to, is it going to be the Nationals team epic? Um, that would kind of suck if you had to collect Bryce Harper and Strasburg and, and Scherzer in order to get the Vlad. But, you know, you do what you got to do. I mean, this this is probably an in-game card once they release it. So, uh, I know he would probably be in my outfield, especially considering the fact that he has a really good swing and his offensive ratings are just through the roof. Kind of reminds me of, a, of an Andre Dawson, but maybe with a little bit worse fielding. Still, though, a really good card. I'm really excited about this card. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think Vlad's ratings will be? And, uh, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Please like and, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later on. But until then, peace.